Ho, 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 Viva Los Angelitos, Fernando with Halos of the Infield, coming at you by myself today in, I guess you can say a weird location. Why? Because I'm home in my man cave, which is rare. You guys uh, see that I travel a lot for work, so it's nice to be home with my family for the holidays, for Christmas, uh, my favorite time of year. I think everyone in my family's favorite time of year. Uh, so welcome to the solo Christmas episode, holiday episode, if you will. We are going to talk about the magic of lights. Uh, before I do that, I want to give a quick shout out to our sponsors, Chinook Eatery, Redbubble, awesome sponsors. Check them out. We'll dive into that stuff later. What is magic of lights, you may ask? Why, why are we talking about this on Halos of the Infield? Guys, this is an Angels podcast, right? So... Magic of Lights is a holiday light event, though it's primarily Christmas themed, where that takes place in the Angel Stadium parking lot. Tis the season to make art and money. And last time I checked, baseball season doesn't really go on during Christmas season. Now the Angels like to try because they do their Christmas in June uh, event. So there's that, but already decided to do a Christmas event at the Angel Stadium parking lot this year. Now, last year, for those of you guys who might remember, they did a food event. So they brought, like, all the food from the carnivals, uh, you know, like the, the giant corn dogs, the giant pretzels, hell, even the carnival games. They brought it into Angel Stadium, and you just kind of drove through, and that was that. I think you got to pay $10 to take a photo with Santa, a photo that I have hanging somewhere here in my man cave if I could ever find it but uh, anyway yeah it was a pretty cool event you know considering we were still in this COVID situation where a lot of stuff was still shut down it was cool to do last year so this year they decided to bring the drive through Christmas experience to Angel Stadium but do a holiday light event now it's pretty cool it was pretty fun if you will so the event is anywhere from $25 to $45, depending on uh, the day of the event and if you're going to pay for the fast pass or not. Now we did, but I'll get to that a little later. So the event is a pretty decent length. I would say if you're driving the right speed, uh, which is what, about three to five miles an hour, that's about the speed that you can go with the cars in front of you. It takes probably about 15 minutes to go through. And, you know, a lot of the light displays they have are pretty cool. Uh, they have a couple of uh, tips of the cap to the angels, a couple of angels logos as you're waiting in line. And they also have uh, a giant A with like fireworks shooting up. And then as soon as you f uh, first drive up through the official attraction, once you go through the line, there is an angels uh, uh displayed out in Christmas lights. I want to say written out of Christmas lights, but displayed in Christmas lights is probably the better term to use. But the event is uh, is pretty cool. Now, we are going to watch a YouTube stream and kind of go through it. Uh, the clip will be down in the show notes. So if you want to watch the same one that I'm watching, you can either just type in Magic of Lights on YouTube, and it should be the first one. I think it's from Laughing Place or just click the link in the description and we can go, kind of go through it together uh, in case the event already passed and you're kind of bummed out that you didn't get to know, or you didn't know about it because it wasn't really advertised. I think I saw the event on Facebook and I was like, we should go. So um, my family came up from San Diego to spend the day with us. Uh, my fiance likes to do uh, Christmas with the Mendezes. So, you know, they came over, uh, she cooked a little Christmas feast, if you will, you know, had the sides, uh, we were gonna do the ham, but they were sold out of ham everywhere, so, uh, so we did chicken instead. Give me a second here. Yeah, did chicken instead. And uh, after that, we drove over to Angel Stadium. I believe the event starts at about five, and it goes till about 10. So I think we went with an hour before, uh, an hour before it closed. Uh, we went to Cookie Plug on uh, the other side of Catella there where those apartments are. Got some cookies. Uh, we had hot chocolate because my fiance bought everyone uh, hot cocoa bombs. 
and then we drove over to get in line. The line was so long. So you guys know where the Carl Strauss is there? I think it's on Orange Floor. Yeah, we were past that. So we drove from, you know, Cookie Plug, which is on Catilla, over, got on Orange Floor, made a left turn. The line just kept going and going and going. And then we had the little, like, the firefighter training center where they have the 9-11 flag that says, you know, we remember. That's about where the line started. So we got in line, waited about 35, 45 minutes. Like, it, you know what? It was maybe like five minutes before they closed the gates because we saw them close the gate behind us. I do believe that they let everybody in. I could be wrong about that. They could have turned people away, but I think they did let everyone in. So, <clears throat> you go in these li this little, like, uh, this holding cell. Um, they have, like, the parking lot barricaded. They have, like, maybe, like, 8 to 10 different lines full of probably about 10 to 15 cars. <clears throat> and they wave one line at a time. From 1 all the way to 10, then they go back to 1. And that's just kind of how it goes until all the lines empty out, obviously. Like I said, we were one of the last people to go through. Um, so, I guess we're to the point where we drove up and they took our tickets so this is gonna be the time to click on that youtube stream as we go through it and also before we get to that check out our sponsor shunuk seedery best seeds in the game we guarantee it go to handles of the infield duck up click on the yellow banner and it's as easy as that Shinnok Scenery, the best of the game by the best podcast of the game. All right, so we just scanned our tickets. Now we're driving through Santa's Mountain. Remember, link in the description if you want to watch along. So Santa running up the mountain, jumping to the top. Santa's Mountain's kind of like Space Mountain, except we didn't. Uh, actually, we, we did wait just as long. We waited just as long. Uh, on the right side, there's a shameless plug, Angels, written in lights. Actually, let's sing the song. Tis the season to make already money. Follow la 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 la. Players getting injured again. Follow la 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 la. Randon Upton, all the pitchers. Follow la 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 la. Mickey Callaway and DPs. Follow la la la. He got fired. Hey. You're welcome. You're welcome. All right. So now we're driving through the candy canes. So many candy canes. I want to throw up. Looks like the candy ver uh, section of Big Lots. What does Big Lots sell anyway? Like, do they just... I feel like Big Lots just kind of sells, like, VHSs, like, used record players. I don't, I don't go to Big Lots, in case you, you didn't know. Uh, so now we're going to, like, the candy portion. If you look on the right side, there's a, a tree full of gummy bears. Most realistic thing I've seen so far. Uh, the gumball machine, because... Who knows where to get those? Actually, the Angels released a gumball machine a couple years ago on eBay. I need one. So if you guys have one, let me know. Uh, some tower made out of ice cream. Unfortunately, modern engineering hasn't allowed us to do that yet. But hopefully one day we'll have an actual building made out of ice cream. Um, we're now going through the tropical portion of Christmas. Duh. I mean, but... Tropical and Christmas go hand in hand. So we just saw some flamingos. I believe they were wearing sunglasses. I wasn't quite paying attention. Uh, now there's Santa doing the, looks like the limbo uh, with some not flattering hula girls. That Yeah, I, I don't know who was the thinking. Let's give them dumpies, but that's exactly what they did. That's not okay. They should get canceled for that. Uh, Santa on a hammock, F of a K, I feel better at work. That's just how I feel, but uh, clearly Santa doesn't agree because homie's off almost all year. Um, uh, I don't know what we're seeing here, so maybe we can uh, fast forward to the boring part. Yep, yep, a little crab with, with Christmas stuff, cool. Uh, a pirate ship, I was born in a pirate ship. I'm sure we all did that thing where you hold your tongue. Yeah, yeah. Good times, right? Um, <clears throat> now, uh, Feliz Navidad. That's a banger right there. Everyone loves that song, right? Uh, Statue of Liberty on a Christmas present. Pretty, pretty usual stuff. Oh, look, I think that's the Star of David. There you go, some representation. I like it, I like it. The Taj Mahal, the Eiffel Tower. 
all cool, pretty cool. Uh, and now we're representing the holidays. I fast forwarded probably about 10 seconds. Uh, Joyce Kwanzaa, Happy Hanukkah, and then everyone's favorite religious holiday, Angel Stadium. Angel Stadium, and then there's the Big A with fireworks. Everyone's favorite religion. Sorry if I triggered you. That's just, you know, but I, I'm assuming everyone here likes baseball. That's why you're here. That's the only reason you're still putting up with me talking about a bunch of Christmas lights in the Angel Stadium parking lot. Because A, you're bored because there's no lockout content. B, because you're a fan of Halos in the infield and all we do, right? Oh, oh the 12 days of Christmas. All right, so I'm going to butcher this. Uh, on the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me uh, a partridge in a pear tree, uh, two turtle doves, three French hens, four something, something, five golden rings. Oh, it's four calling birds. Uh, six, uh, five golden rings, six geese slaying. Uh, sorry, I finally caught up to the video here. Seven swans of swimming, eight maids of milking. Nine princess fairies. Okay, nine I'm stuck on. Ten lords of leaping. Eleven pipers piping. Twelve drummers drumming. I, I think that is. And, and that was me. But during the 12 days of Christmas. You know, I've never had to do the 12 days of Christmas forward. Normally it's, you know, you do it backwards. You know, the second day of Christmas. And you go back to first. And then, you know, you kind of work your way backwards. It's kind of like when the... Cop pulls you over, and they're like, all right, so you're going to say the alphabet backwards. And I'm just like, okay, bro, here's my hands. Go ahead, just cuff it. It's, it's over. It's over. Just just get it over with. Not too tight, please. Uh, we already, uh, there was Santa doing a backflip out of lights. That's cool. Uh, now there's some monster trucks. I don't, I think that's like Bigfoot or something. I don't know, man. I've never been a monster jam. I've, I've never been a monster jam. People are going to get triggered. They're going to be like, what? You've never gone to Monster Jam? No, my, my son's not into that. And I, I never was into that. I, I'm never home, guys. Leave me alone. I, I, I'm literally never home. I'm never even here. Jeez. People are like, you don't go. I, I can already see it. The comments are just going to go ballistic. Uh, if you're still dealing with my BS, uh, there's Mr. Potato Head right there waving. Maybe we should cancel Mr. Potato Head. The guy's got a mustache and... People with mustaches can be weird. Like Artie Moreno. So, you know. Also, why is there, like, cones in the middle of, like, the drive aisle? Like, when I went, there was no cones in the <gasps> Guys, maybe they got rid of the cones in the middle because Artie went and he was, like, intoxicated. He was, like, smashed. And he just kept, like, Mario Karting the cones and they were just like you know what the cones aren't a good idea that's my guess as to what happened uh we're now driving to the nativity scene casually uh i think that's mary on the camel by the way uh the nativity scene is a religious thing so if that triggers you or you're a little too sensitive fast forward like 20 seconds uh yeah mary and joseph were over there i think these are the three kings or the wise men something like that um, if they're so wise, they would have cars, right? <laughs> um, the person who's filming this might have gotten triggered because they went away from the nativity scene kind of quickly. So there was that. But, you know, nativity scene, you know, Jesus laying in a major, all, all that stuff right there. A shameless plug for, you know what, I'm not going to say it because they didn't pay for the advertisement. So if you see it right there on the right side and you're watching this video, I'm not going to say it. You're not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. Uh, the most patriotic Christmas tunnel I've ever seen. Uh, the tunnel in which my fiance got nauseous because she was like, what's happening here? It was a little too much. Um, okay. Oh, and I don't pay for YouTube Red, so I'm currently watching some ads. So this is a perfect time for me to plug our stuff. HaloTheInfield.com. Go to Redbubble. Where the mer this this is not the merch. I don't know why I'm holding it like it is. This is from Kmart. I love Kmart, but screw you, Amazon. Uh, we're now at the part where there's a bunch of snowflakes. That's what everybody is these days. 
Sorry, not sorry. Uh, except our audience. I mean, you guys deal with us saying a bunch of stuff. You deal with a bunch of shit posts from us. So, you know, you guys probably aren't snowflakes. But there's a lot of people out there on every side of the political spectrum, every side of the religious spectrum, snowflakes, snowflakes everywhere. I'm just going to stop talking now. Uh, so we're now at the prehistoric Christmas. Uh, they probably couldn't say like Jurassic Christmas because, you know, lawsuit. Uh, Artie doesn't like lawsuits. Actually, I think he does. It's part of the problem. Um, but that's an actual intense topic that we probably shouldn't talk about. Uh, all right. So, um, I'm not good with dinosaurs, so feel free to laugh at me for this. So on the left side, I think that's a stegosaurus. The stegosaurus is red. Don't think that's an accurate color, but I could also be wrong. But, you know, viva los angelitos. Puro pinche angelitos. Um, <clears throat> on the right side, that's a raptor. I think it's kind of like blue from Jurassic World, but they couldn't make him blue because, you know, lawsuit. Uh, on the left side, ooh, uh, I think that's a stegosaurus. Maybe it is. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's the John Cena of dinosaurs. You can see him. Who knows? Uh, that's definitely purple T-Rex wearing a Santa hat, trying to eat the Christmas tree. Uh, there's that one purple dinosaur. I don't even know what that is, but it's always near water. You keep showing me the raptor again. Oh, it's a different raptor. It's a different raptor. And then there's Santa riding what I think is the long neck dinosaur, which I think was named Littlefoot in the land before time. On the left side, there's Santa riding some pterodactyls. Uh, extremely accurate. I don't know what happened to the reindeer. Uh, maybe they got stolen. Maybe they were drinking with Artie. So maybe the reindeer just got smashed. So he had to take the pterodactyls for a spin. Uh, that's a volcano that they're flying over. What if that's the volcano that kills them? That's what they should have done. They should have literally just had the lava spewing from the volcano. That would have made the experience so much better. In my opinion. But what do I know? What do I know? I'm only a consumer that obviously consumed this product for $25. Or I think it was $35 after taxes and fees. Um, all right. I think we are at the grand finale, which is kind of funny because it's probably the most unimpressive portion. But, you know, I'll let you make the decision. You guys should be watching this on YouTube along with me. Uh, and you probably are if you're still watching up to this point. So we love you. Um, but on the right side, it's actually like the coolest part. Because I remember this vividly when I was there. Uh, my hot cocoa was kind of cold at this point. Uh, my cookie from the cookie plug that was like as big as a hockey puck was giving me cotton mouth at this point. And I remember sitting at that tree and being like, that's a cool tree. So, you know, there was that. While my family, uh, since we went with my parents, we're all crammed in an SUV. It's like seven people in there. But, you know, it's a good time. It's a good time. We don't want to pay for all of us to go in there. Um, Santa hanging stuff up in the stocking. Earlier there was like a kid getting out of bed, getting super lit because, you know, it's Christmas. Uh, Santa going down the chimney. They probably should have reversed that in order because you first saw Santa filling up the chimney and then you saw him coming down. Or sorry, filling up the stocking, then you saw him coming down from the chimney, which just didn't make sense. Uh, and then there's Santa right there and his reindeer taken off. And this person is just like showing the big A on the left field scoreboard. And like that's all they're showing, which like I appreciate on like a spiritual level. So there's that. And um, we made it to the end. Here's the final tunnel. And uh, at the very end, there's a little elf just kind of shake actually doesn't even shake his head he's more like that just does no barely moves just barely moves uh but there we go we did it we made it through and i saved you guys 35 dollars, maybe even 45 dollars. so you're welcome it's probably more fun to go through with me anyway uh, hopefully you were eating some hot cocoa with some cookies that are good yet are going to give you cotton milk. So you got the full experience. Um, I guess thank you guys for everything. 
We're hoping to do one final live show for you guys. Uh, hopefully the last week of the year, which I mean, is ba this is the last week of the year, basically, right? We got, well, no, we got two weeks. Uh, but thank you guys so much for your endless support, guys. We, we really do absolutely love you guys for giving us the ability to talk Angels baseball with you guys and just be such a supportive, fun community. Uh, we love doing this. We, we love having a voice through you guys. We love you guys having a voice. Uh, you know, we respond to your stuff constantly. We do whatever we can to give you guys the best content possible. So thank you guys one last time from the absolute bottom of my heart. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas, joyous Kwanzaa, Happy Hanukkah, and Happy Winter Solstice to all of you, and especially you, Arturo Moreno. I, I I don't know why I French kissed Arturo Moreno, especially three times. I'm going to take those back because Artie doesn't deserve them unless he opens up that wallet. And you know who for sure doesn't deserve it? The MLB owners and the lockout so we don't have to do stuff like this. This episode was fun to record, but it still was not the best content possible. But either way, you guys tune in for this one. And speaking of tune in, that's all you guys do. You guys constantly tune in. Guys, we've hit the top 100 in the U.S. multiple times. We've been a top 20 podcast in Japan more weeks than we haven't been. So, you know, konnichiwa. We love you guys as well. If any of you guys are speak Japanese, let us know. We would love to have a podcast in Japanese. Um, so thank you guys for your endless support one last time. We truly do love you guys. Viva los angelitos. Happy holidays.